check on them. Who? What if you just walked over the head? What if they attack you? Well, let's call the police, let them handle it. Well, what do we tell them about us, why we were here? Well, I'll say I was alone. I won't mention you at all. Okay, come on. I caught someone robbing the bistro. I hit him over the head and then I rang the police whoa, and... Whoa, 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 Kate, slow down. I was in the back grabbing my coat. I was just about to lock up. I came through and I saw someone robbing the till. So I grabbed a bottle, whacked him over the head and I ran. You best get over there. Were you alone? Yeah. Right, you wait here. I don't want you to put yourself in any more danger. I'll call you once the police arrive. Thanks, Kate. Yeah. All right, how's the patient? Uh, OK, just um, bruised and shot. Did you really see a patient or did you just make it up? Me? To get out of our dinner, do? Oh, no, no, but um, that was a bonus. How did you go to the Christmas market? I made 500 quid. No way. But if we keep going like today, we'll have some premises sooner than we think. Thought I heard voices. Come in, come in, join the party. <laughs> Michelle? Oh, my God. Where is he? Did he attack you? Wait a minute. It was you. Kate hit you. Oh, is that who whacked me? She's got some strength on her. She got some ice. Doll, there's, there's no time. She called the police. They're on their way. What? You need to get out of here now. Come on. All right, take the bag. OK. Have you seen Robert? No. Uh, I've just been late night shopping. There's been a break in at the bistro. That's why the police are there. Oh, my God. I think I stopped whoever did it. But, yeah, uh, well, listen, I'm just going to drop this off at home and I'll be right there. So, uh, yeah, well done for being such a hero. You said there was a lot of money in the till? Oh, our card machine was broken. We were taking cash all evening. And you were the only person here when the intruder entered? Uh, yes. Michelle had gone, said she'd cash up in the morning and left me to lock up. I went in the back, sorted myself out, and that's when I heard the noise. And you came out, you saw someone attempting to rob the till, so you hit him over the head with an empty bottle of wine. Very brave. OK. What's this about? It was the burglary at the bistro tonight. What? No way. And the CCTV was conveniently out of action. I believe you were recently dismissed from a job in the kitchen. What, is Robert accusing me? No one's accusing anyone, sir. I'd just like to establish where you were this evening. What's happened? Well, there's been a robbery at the bistro. They think it was me. Do you have an alibi between 9 and 10 this evening? I was driving back from town in my van. Were you alone? Uh, no, um, I was with him. We were serving food at the Christmas markets. We made about 500 quid. Yeah, we did. I see. And, and for the record, my husband is the most honest and hard-working man I've ever met. He'd never rob someone. And if that's what Robert's saying, he'll have me to answer to. Oh, thank you. We'll be in touch if we need to ask anything further. Why did you lie for me? Because you needed an alibi and because I know you never do something like that. I didn't do it. Of course you didn't. You're amazing. I love you.